guys, back with another fresh violin review. And today we're doing the 25 centimeter X Plus Megalon. Bam! That's right, Chris Cyphers. Finally, I know, finally, we are getting the review you've been asking for. You've been commenting on my other videos, asking when am I going to do Megalon. Well, guess what, my friend? Megalon! Bam! Alright, so, without further ado, excuse my cock, he was really loud. Ha! Alright, so uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do this review up close and personal. And at the end of the review, I want to know if you guys like the way I do the review up close personal style or not. You know, I'm trying a few different things out here, okay? So, you let me know at the end, alright? Alright. So, what we're looking at here, I'm not going to do the box. We all know what the box looks like, okay? It's a 25 centimeter box. It's the same old stuff. Different, different label on it, okay? So that's the box, whatever. This is technically the Rick Boy, but I don't have the Rick Boy edition anymore. They went off to a friend out in California who used the extra arms, because that's what the Rick Boy was. It came with extra arms. So before we get through, real quick, let's knock the Rick Boy out of the way. Um, the extra arms were supposed to, you know, you take these arms off. And then you replace the other arms, which are supposed to be, you know, they're re-sculpted, remolded to look like the drill hand that Megalon has when he's drilling in the ground. The problem is, is I didn't like the way they looked when you put the new arms on, like, because one arm looked like this, the other arm, it came in, it just didn't, it did not look like a drill at all. It looked kind of weird, it looked like Megalon was trying to do some, like, Cetopian prayer or something. You know, so... I didn't like the arms. I only put them on once when I got this figure back in early 2013, and the, I, I took them off, and that was it. They stayed in the box until they went to another collector who did a fabulous thing with them. So uh, they went to David Bang's brother Burley out there in Cali. David Bang. Okay. So the heck with the arms. So I like the standard arms. So technically, we're doing. It's, it's a standard review, okay? Alright, enough rambling. Let's get right into this. Bam! Bam! Alright guys, so check it out. Obviously, what we're looking at, up close and personal, it's a 25cm Megalon from X+. Plus. Now mind you, yes, this is the standard, but I did purchase the Rick Boy, like I told you in the beginning of that story, blah, 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 blah. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is the height. So, the first thing about the height... Like I said, it's 25 centimeters, but get, get out of my <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Don't give me that look. Okay, sorry. All right, anyway, tape measure. All right, so let's see. Here's the tape measure. So we're looking at, at just about, just a little over 10 inches. So I would say, yeah, maybe like 10 and a quarter. Okay, so 25 centimeter transitions this figure to about 10 Inches, almost ten and a half, actually. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, let's get right to that one. Oh, I'm not even at ten. What am I talking about? I need. We're at nine and three quarters. Sorry, nine and three quarters of an inch. Okay, so that's the height. Nine and three quarters of an inch. Okay. So and that's your standard size for twenty-five centimeter figures. Some may vary in height and size. Obviously, like the X Plus twenty-five centimeter Bilante, that is huge. <laughs> Okay, all right. So let's talk about scope and detail. Scope and detail is phenomenal. They captured everything that you saw on the suit. So I really have no complaints as far as the detail and on the sculpt goes. All these, you know, ridges here right along the stomach look great. All the ruffles on the legs look really, really good. Now, if you remember in the movie. Megalon, while he was walking around, he's kind of like shimmied a little bit, but obviously, you know, I, it's going to be hard to replicate that, but, you know, because the figure's not moving, but, um, these, these, um, I don't even know what to call them, these giant she uh, skin shells, I guess, because he is a cockroach, so he does have a shell of a body, but these look good, these look really, really nice, I like, I like how these, these flow here, and under the neck, those look good really really well I don't know why we started with the torso but this is what we're starting with um, so we'll work our way back up to the head so the head looks really awesome 
The first thing I'm going to point out is the eyeballs. Check out these eyeballs. They look really, really good. And inst see, this is a plastic. Maybe it's clear vinyl, translucent vinyl. I think, it's, I think it is vinyl. Um, but inside there is these beady little eyes of his gigantic eyeball. And same thing on both sides. They look really, really good. Really good. I love that. There's one thing about the eyes that X Plus does pretty good on certain, you know, kaiju is they make the eyes look really popping. Like on uh, Kumunga, um, even the 25 centimeter Anguirus, that looks really good too. Alright, so the eyeballs, top notch. Mouth, he's got this concoction of a mouth. Um, that looks really good. I don't even know what to make of the mouth, you know. Obviously, it opened up sideways and you know, uh, horizontal and vertical when you shot out the napalm pellets. So, that looks pretty cool. Antennas, those look good. Nice um, detail on that. Okay. And the horn, that's the, you know, that's anything. That's um, iconic to Megalon is this horn. You know, he also shot like lightning beams or whatever. You know, it's almost like a gravity beam like from King Ghidra. But that looks good. So one, you know, now we're talking about his weapons. I love how he would shot, shoot the napalm and then ignite it with his horn beam. So that was pretty cool. You know, talk about a devastating attack. Devastating. Devastating. Okay? So that's the face. The rest of the head, you know, he's pretty bulky like a giant cockroach. Okay? Arms. Now, mind you, before I said this was, this is technically the standard version because I don't have the Rick Boy arms. But the Rick Boy arms... You take these arms off and replace them with the Rick Boy arms, and it was supposed to bring the hands together like a drill, but I didn't like the way they matched. Actually, they didn't match up. I did not like the way they looked. They made him look like he was praying. So, no, no, no Rick Boy arms for me. Those are gone. Those aren't the bigger and better things with Burly Vang. Okay, so I like these better because he's kind of got his hands up, you know, arms up, more of a traditional kaiju pose. Okay. As far as the arms go, but these drill bits, these look awesome. I really love how these look. I mean, it looks like, again, X Plus looks like it came right out of the movie. So, obviously, if we were to put these together, they would butter up real nice and everything. So, even with the standard and or the Rick Boy, you don't get either or. So, that's why I like them just like this, separated. So, they look good on both sides. Okay? Um, detail on the feet, obviously, we have... Two claws on each foot, or two, two two big toenails on each foot, so it'll look good. Very nice. Obviously, let's look at the back now. The back is another very well defining feature of Megalon is his giant wings. These you know these obviously these uh, cockroach looking style wings, but it's the the significant color to them that look really really well and stand out. Um, and and this this looks amazing. I really love this. I you know I kind of want to watch the movie just to see how well they replicated all these little markings. Like is these exact to what the suit looked like? So that's something I'm gonna have to take note of next time I watch Godzilla vs Megalon. But I, I really love the way this pops. Looks really good. And as far as the detail goes, if we look closer, let me uh, bring that in a little bit closer. You can see that on on there. Because the grooves, you know, of these wings. So that looks cool. And right here, if you can see right here, you know, because when Megalon flew, these kind of like flapped out. So that's underneath, as if, you know, we actually would the flap out. You, those are the uh, extra, you know, his, uh, we'll call them flight controls. Okay? Flight controls. We got that? We got that? Good. <laughs> Shut up. Alright, so that's sculpt the detail. Let's talk about, uh, alright, obviously we were just talking about the paint job, so we already talked about the back. The back looks good. Um, there's more orange and cockroach looking color here on the stomach and chest, upper upper chest, abdomen. Um, a little bit here on the shoulders and on the back, too, going down the back. And that's the same on both sides. So that really pops good. I dig that. Um, the drill hands are metallic silver. Um, not, not too glossy, not glossy at all, so mostly metallic silver. The toenails are just typical, those are metallic silver. Um, the antennas are mm, kind of beige tan, horn, 
Some metallic silver eyeballs, mostly uh, yellowish orange. And uh, the mouth, metallic silver as well. Okay, so the rest of the body is basically just a ch uh, charcoal gray. A little bit different from the color of Godzilla's skin. A little more flat looking, but maybe that's just because God, you know, Godzilla's skin, he's more uh, tree bark skin. And this is more flat panels of, uh, you know, this stuff here. Cockroach skin, whatever we're going to call it. But it's mostly charcoal gray. Um, if anybody was in the Navy, military, if you're familiar with the paint color do uh, deck gray, that's what this looks like to me, if you had to ask me. That's deck gray. But it's dark gray. It's not black, but it's it's really dark gray. So that's the paint job. Um, other than that, everything on the... Uh, oh, don't forget the tail back here. These horns, those are also metallic silver. And they look like Gigan horns. <laughs> cool. So... Did I miss anything? Paint job? Paint job, paint job, paint job, paint job. Nope. Everything looks good. Looks looks good. So that's the paint job. Joints and seams. Real quick, uh, let's see. Joints and seams. Obviously, right here on the shoulders. On both shoulders. Right there. Because these do move, actually. See? You could kind of move them. Not so much. Yep. Yep. I haven't moved. I haven't touched these in a long time. So, I like to have, you know, one up, one down. Make some action pose. Strike a pose. Strike a pose. Okay. Um, around the head, there is a seam underneath. It's hard to tell from there, but you can see it kind of just goes right underneath. Not too distracting because this big head of his kind of blocks this around the neckline. No big deal. Um, there is seams here just at the kneecaps, but they're very well hidden because of these frills. Okay, you can't, you wouldn't even tell. But for those, uh, if you have this figure, you're going to make sure you want to get them balanced. So you're going to have to move these right in the kneecaps. They move. Okay. Out of the box. I thought there was something wrong with mine because he wasn't standing. So uh, for those that have the uh, gargantuas from X+, Plus, um, you had to mess with the ankles and the feet a little bit at the kneecaps as well to get them balanced. So same deal here. So you got to move those a little bit or he won't balance right. And then he's going to want to fall over or whatnot. And we can't have that. That's not fresh. Totally wasn't in frame sorry so right there and right there okay all right now he's not balanced it's getting balanced yeah very nice okay so uh, what all the seams we got obviously this tail right there um and i believe he came with the tail attached in the box so you at least I don't remember having to put the tail on. So that's one figure. Yeah, you didn't have to put the tail on. But there's a seam there. So, for those of you who get this figure, you don't have to worry about getting any squishy soft tail going on. So that's good. Other than that, seams, 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 seams. Everything looks pretty good. So that's the joints and seams. Let's do a size comparison. Alright, we're going to do size comparison with... Bam! The 73 Godzilla. 25 centimeter. Okay? So, this is for comparison that these two go in scale together. They look very good together. And that's how they scale up. Obviously, Megalon stands a little bit taller. Actually, no, not really. I mean, he's kind of slouched a little bit, if you could tell. He's kind of, like, hunched. but And he also has some height due to his horn. But these two scale perfectly together. Okay? And out you go. And we're going to use the Bandai Memorial Box Megalon. Now, for those familiar with the Bandai figure, this is the Memorial Box version. This came from 1995, the Memorial Box. This is an 8-inch scale of Bandai figures. And obviously, you have this just, just shy of 10 inches, a.k.a. 25 centimeters. So, as you can see, big size difference there. Um, as While we're looking at these, comparing them, can clearly see the different paint jobs, the different sculpts. Everything is different about them. Um, obviously, this came out in 1989. What is it? Let me look at the bottom of the foot. This is the 94 version. But, nope, 91. Am I, am I all wrong about that? But this came out, the mold is from 91. So do your math. This is how old the mold is. Reissued in soft vinyl in 95. The memorial box. And here we have the Megalon from 2011. 
Okay? So we're talking about 20 years, people. 20 years. And when this came out, you couldn't touch it. All right, maybe the Bullmark stuff, but I can't comment on Bullmark and Vintage because I don't have any, and it wouldn't be fair to make assessments and judgments without having any of that stuff, okay? So, aside from that, this is your size comparison. Bam! I love them both. I love them both. See? Look. This is... Check it out. How can you argue with Bandai? I mean, obviously, you, you can't sit here and, and, and uh, do some pinching... You know, between the two, because this one is 20 years older than this, um, and they're two different lines, okay? But the, the Bandai looks great, and so does the X Plus. But Bandai, I love my Bandais. Mwah! Love them. All right, all right. Just to round this up before we go back to final thoughts, at back at the table, um, I, I think I covered everything. Oh, one other thing is, remember, this is supposed to look like the suit. So, if you look here, let's bring them in closer. You can see this crease right there in his chest area. Now remember, this is the suit. So, if you look at the pose, look at the pose. He's kind of like hunched over a little bit, okay? He's kind of, you know, leaning forward. He's got his head forward. So, because he's doing that and because this is supposed to be a replica of the suit, that's why we have this crease here. So that looks good. I love how they did that. You know, these are supposed to be near exact representations of the suits of the kaiju that we love from the movies we love. So that's why these look the like the suits. And actually, I tried looking to find a seam as to where the suit actor got in and out, but I couldn't find anything. Um, uh, I, if I had a guess, it might be either through here and that Velcroed shut, or... It was through the the wings here. These opened, open, you know, side to side, and that's how the suit actor got in and out. I don't know. Somebody probably knows. So, you know, put it in the comments section. I know there's a lot of um, knowledgeable collectors out there and fans that know this stuff. But, you know, I'm not sure. I don't know that answer. But that's it. All right, let's take it back to the table for final thoughts. Bam! Final thoughts, final thoughts, final thoughts! Alright, so I really dig this figure. Um, this is a great representation of Megalon. Um, there are quite a few different variations of Megalon out there. Uh, one of them be a couple Bandai's. And this is the bootleg, so whatever with that. Uh, but this is the Bandai version, so just a quick comparison for the final thoughts. Okay? So, bigger size, more detail and whatnot and everything. But, um... Marmot also did a build-up kit Megalon that looks really, really good. It looks fantastic. It's almost, um, you know what, some collectors might say they like that better than the X+. Plus, But the Marmot's a beautiful figure. But as far as this goes, I'm very happy with this. This is the most detailed Megalon figure I have. Um, mind you, I, I have a lot of attachment to Megalon because it was my first Godzilla movie, Godzilla vs. Megalon. So, the figure's beautiful. I love, like I said in the review earlier, I love the way the eyes are sculpted. Um, this figure is definitely fresh, and that's what's up. All right, so that's all I got, Chris. I hope I lived up to your expectations for this review. Uh, if not, oh, I don't know. You could just scream and shout at me, but uh, oh, that's Goji Fan ninety three. Sorry, Goji Fan ninety three. Okay, so. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Hit me up in the comments section. Let me know how you like this review style. You know, I might mix it up a little bit. You know, I don't know. Try like this. Try like that. All right. And make sure you check out FreshVinylHQ.com because I will have my written review. It's easier to put more thoughts into a written review because you go back and change it, read it, yada, yada, yada. And there'll be different pictures and whatnot. All right. FreshVinylHQ.com. Look for it under the X Plus database. Scroll down. You'll see all the X Plus figures there. As I keep doing reviews, I will update, and you'll see a little red link on there. On the name itself, just click it, and the review will be there. Bam! And remember, buy vinyl, fresh vinyl! Ugh!